And right now, let's check out Doc Rivers. Oh, excuse me. Let's see what we gonna say about Doc, right? Oh man, I love that dude. I love that he's so comfortable with that bad voice. Like, every time I got a tadpole, let alone a frog, I'm a whole different dude. Like, I'm self-conscious as hell. You could ask Courtney all day. I'm spraying this stuff in my nose. I'm looking, uh, uh. This is a really good thing right here. I, there's some free advertising right now. Anybody got sore throats and issues like me, vocal cord problems, entertainer secret. But Doc Rivers, no matter how much of that he's spraying his nose, it ain't gonna help him how he sounds. But we may be hearing him talk a lot more as he may replace Jeff Van Gundy on ESPN. <gasps> So one of the most surprising casualties of ESPN's recent layoffs may have been Jeff Van Gundy. Um, let me take the May off it. <laughs> when they said Jeff Van Gundy, I swear, I saw everybody name. I think it was Keyshawn first and then Max and then I was like, I didn't even think about it. I was like, yeah, I kind of saw that, kind of saw that. Je Je I, I looked, I said, Jeff Van Gundy? What is going on there? I literally hit refresh and the same names popped up again. I was like, kaboom. We know who he is. He was a staple of the network's NBA coverage since 2007. Former Knicks, Houston Rockets coach, tough act to follow. Kind of in that Shannon Sharp, like impossible act to follow, but somebody going to do it, right? So there's an enormous void left in his wake. So g given this cost-cutting mandate, ESPN is likely to stay in-house by promoting, they say, J.J. Reddit, I would like that, Kane Lye would like that, or Doris B Burke. Oh, Doris Burke be killing them games. She's so smart. Like, her voice just, first of all, it relaxes me. Like, every time she talks, well, you know the way that, the I was like, oh, yeah, say it. And then she be dropping jewels. Love that as well. But, can't lie, neither one of them, I thought, should replace Van Gundy. <laughs> like, literally, Van Gundy should still be there and then get them the B team or whatever. So, if Disney were to hire from the outside, hmm, one potential candidate is going to be Doc Rivers. So, Rivers was fired by the 76ers after blowing another 3-2 series lead to Boston in this year's playoffs. I think he got the NBA record for head coaches of losing series. He was up and all kind of bad records like that. But he's still Doc Rivers and still a championship head coach. Put some respect on his name. So he can wait for another coaching vacancy to open up, though others suspect he'll pursue whatever broadcasting opportunities are available. It was almost 20 years ago. I don't know if all y'all remember this, but Doc Rivers had success as a color analyst. No, I didn't mean colored analyst. <laughs> they, need, they need to change that one. They talk about master bedroom, and they all, every time you go now on a house tour, oh, that's not the master bedroom, right? So, all right, well, well, let's get rid of color analyst, damn it. I'm clowning. So he was on ABC in 2004, calling that year's finals alongside play-by-play -play veteran Al Michaels. Damn, that was a while back. And if Rivers is keen on returning to the booth, who better to pair him with than Hall of Famer Mike Breen, who is that dude? Well, the New York Post also says that him and Mike Breen are close friends. Uh-oh, that helps. So the chemistry with Breen can't be discounted. That would certainly be an interesting dynamic. Let's just say that. A splash higher as well, like Rivers, might, even though you could say big-time name, big-time knowledge, genius, former champion coach, all that's great. Here's the issue with the optics, maybe. After all that happened on Bloody Friday at ESPN and all that carnage, and ESPN faced some similar backlash after details of Pat McAfee's contract leaked to the media, the Sixers still owe Rivers $16 million after firing him with two years left on his deal. So he's not hurting for money, and is he going to go through this process, and is ESPN going to go through this process, of hiring Doc Rivers, who still got money on the book somewhere else, while paying him a handsome price and going to have to deal with whatever PR that is that comes from whatever y'all doing budget cuts and firing everybody, right? And how much more would he make or less than Van Gundy, which could become another PR issue. You know Doc Rivers making less than Van Gundy. What? Why? You know the identity politics gonna kick in because he's black. Or they're gonna say he's making more than Van Gundy. Where you get the money from? Why y'all fire Van Gundy? So there, I understand, I hate to say it, there are some other things at play outside of how great Doc Rivers will be in this role. So I know he would kill it. That'd be 
stop playing. Doc Rivers, I actually remember the broadcast from back then. I was like, damn, Doc Rivers, why are you going back coaching? Like, you're damn good at this. Obviously, you have some choices, but forever losing that voice and forever lost that voice is still a voice we want to hear. We want someone of substance, someone who has the gravity to command the empty seat of Jeff Van Gundy, right? But here's the thing. Tell me if y'all like this, if they were all together. Mike Breen, Mark Jackson, and Doc Rivers? For real, like be real. It's almost like when you're drawing up a team, you're like, all right, I'm gonna go get Mark Jackson. You know who you're not about to pick on that team the next round? You're not gonna go get Doc Rivers. Like They redundant. <laughs> like, like Two guards that's gonna be talking about the game the same way. I don't know if that even matters. Because I can hear them calling the game together, but in construction, what I'm trying to say is, are the execs going to push something through where it's like, those two guys are kind of part of the same typecast, if I may say that, lack of better words. So, who do y'all think should replace Jeff Van Gundy? Let's start there. Do you think Doc Rivers is the best choice? And do you think he's going to kill it? Interesting. I don't want to really hear about it, but I know we're going to talk about it. Do y'all think this is hypocritical of ESPN to say, oh, poor us for 99 cents a day. You can save your favorite analyst. And meanwhile, I'm going to pay Doc Rivers all these millions of dollars. Right. And others. So I don't know what Doc Rivers is going to do. He got money on the book. 16 million sitting there if he just does this and chills or he can grab a mic, sit next to the G's right there and get some more of them M's. What would you do? Let's check that out in the comments. <laughs>